Now, I just got off the phone with Publix. Here's what they're doing, all right? Even though I'm purchasing something from their store, they're not wanting it to be their responsibility right? because they can't control the weather. Well, neither can I, all right? I'm doing the purchase in your store, sirs, upper businessmen, all right? That if I had not been making that purchase from your store, my accident would not have happened, in other words. It's called tort law. I know it is. It's called a slip and fall on your property because I'm purchasing something from your store and I left my card at home. Right. Had to go back and get it and it started raining in the process. I didn't plan on that. But I am making a purchase in your store. I know. If I was not making the purchase in your store that day, would I have slipped and fell that day? No, no. It's well. No one's responsible for the weather, but we all know the possibility that if you are going into a store to purchase something and you had to go back home because you live close to the store, Tort law, tort law, means you're liable. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm trying to be a nice guy about it, but you don't want nice people, do you? You want assholes who will sue you for 15 grand instead of giving them just maybe five of that, right? And like the other store whose name we will remain unmentioned, right? You think you don't have to pay us anymore, I know. That's tort law 101. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. This ain't political. This ain't religious. This is what we all might have to deal with one day if you really slip and fall outside a store because you left your car at home and had to rush back to the store, right? To pay the... From the stuff you bought, right? Now, I feel like I'm having to play lawyer by watching Judge Judy, right? <laughs> or Judge Mathis, right? All for myself, right? <laughs> but that's why I can do it, too. I watch these shows on TV, you know? Don't mean I'm stupid just because I'm paranoid schizophrenic about my time in the Navy. Right. Now, another problem you're doing to the veterans is we don't have health care. By the way, dumbasses, right? You didn't set up a health care for disabled people who went disabled as early as age 28, right? You didn't even bother with us. Now, this ain't political, but this is how you affect every veteran who does not have insurance. We can't get it because we make too much money if we're over 50% disabled, right? Your, um, your little state laws, I know, <laughs> have caps, right? Well, if we're physically and mentally disabled, that means we cannot take care of ourselves normally and would still need an extra income for our insurance like I'm having to do with the state of Georgia, right? Even though I make over the amount, right, which I meant to, the amount of money I'm spending to bill ratio is greater than my actual income, right? It's called debt to income ratio, right? And right now, there's one that's greater, the debt to income, right? I'm living in a $155,000 house, right? I'm trying to drive a $30,000 car right? that I'm getting at lower the value, right? I'm paying more for it, but it's not worth the money I'm paying for it, in other words, right? And this is just life, how we got to live. This ain't politics, this ain't religion. This is just how we got to deal with other people in today's world, right? And the problem is, 
with someone who has a real slip and fall. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. You, you don't even want to do that as people, right? Right. Fair enough. And like I said, well, you, you're you saying I planned on it, right? Myself, right? I planned the slip and fall. No, I was trying to get back into the store to pay my bill I created with you by purchasing something from your store, right? It's still within the proximity to be your responsibility, too, if I'm completing the transaction with you, right? <laughs> now, a decent person... <laughs> With a little bit of morals, well, no, they at least got to pay some kind of medical expense. Which I'm trying to do the cheapest thing I can do, which is at the massage parlor for like $72, where I'm paying 60 for an hour massage two or three times a month, right? Mm -hmm. Since the incident happened, right? Now, you multiply that times... Happened in September, so that's October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. That's 10 months times at least. Mm hmm. Um, 144, mm -hmm. which is just 144,000, right? Mm hmm. Now, if you make me, I'm going to go for the max, right? Which is 15, right? I know. To get at least something on the table. Mm hmm. I know. I know. Mm hmm. And like I said, this is to help everyone who has the same situation. How to use tort law when you're in a situation where you're purchasing something from a store and you have to go back in because you left your car at home accidentally, right? And you're slipping in on their property, right? And they don't want to help pay your medical expenses because of that. <laughs> and it's the same thing as with Judge Judy or Judge Joe Brown or Judge Mathis, which I watch that those shows a lot, right? And that's why I know what I can do. <laughs> Now, my problem ain't I'm a movie schizophrenic. I oh, know. My problem is my shipmates were interfering with my dating life to the point I don't even know why my girlfriend, Tina Johnson, broke up with me. I oh, don't know. I don't know if it was something in her head, their head. Had it to do with the dream or not. No one's talking to me. I oh, know. And like I said, once someone quits talking to you, you don't know what's going on anymore with it, right? And you can't. Pursue them, right? Nor they you. You can no more be around me than I can be around you. <laughs> that means move the hell out of my neighborhood. If you moved into my neighborhood, I'm after you, right? Because I'm not. <laughs> and then you're reverse stalking me because you had the wrong idea, not me. All right. <laughs> Have a nice day.